All right. I'm a fan. I'm a big Battlefield fan. I 100%ed uh, Bad Company 2, and I have not yet seen neither the, the trailer nor the gameplay of Battlefield 2042. So um, I'm going to start off with my benchmark, which is Bad Company 2, and then we're going to go watch the other two trailers. So this is my reaction to those. Let's go. I don't know if I've ever actually seen this. This is the Bad Company 2 original launch trailer, and we're going to see um, how this one goes. I recognize the backdrop anyway. And that splash screen. Classic. Good old dice. I don't remember this music though. This must have been just for the trailer. Oh, the destruction. It was very good. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna go out here. Oh, Game Informer. La -di da Game Pro. God, I that's ancient. Does this still exist? Uh, I think Eurogamer is still around. Who cares about Xbox? If we're not in this for the PC, then... <laughs> oh, man. Classic times, though. Engineer was the best class. For sure. <laughs> but yeah, like unlocking everything with all, all the different classes was loads of fun. M2 Garand the whole way. Is this really their launch trailer? Wow, it's... Not very exciting. Oh, so that's what a launch... Oh, look at that Twitter logo. Holy cow. Okay, so that's ancient. Right, so let's uh, pop over to something new. Modern Era, 2042, five minutes. Have we learned how to make a trailer? Uh, let's see. Game engine footage. Some kind of a lander. All right. Appears to have destruction elements. I didn't really play Battlefield 1 or 5. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, I got that. Battlefield 2 was a fun game, too. I love that. Okay. Nice color scheme. What is that? Oh no, they got robo dogs. What? This really is future combat, isn't it? What else is future? Giant oil tanker. Or old oil tanker? Why isn't everyone in VR headsets? Got rope. Classic tracers. Uh, that's an ambush. Oh, the old steel batags. I think all the battlefields have probably had that. Uh, ooh. Ice combat with hovercraft. Okay. Yes, environments look interesting. Kind of open maps. Quite open. Do something with the player count? Yeah, what what is this? Is this single player? Remember they had Levolution. That's what these vertical towers are reminding me of. Definitely colorful. There are some cities like, I think, Shanghai, where they have LED display panels on the buildings that are synced up. Bit of aerial combat with a little... Oh, I love the... Um, what was it called? Something bird? Trinity. No. Actually, I think it was Trinity Help. Yeah, don't just sit there. 
Oh no! That reminds me of the climb. Alright, scramble your fighters. Nice thing about this trailer, steady, steady ass frame rate. I know it's all pre-rendered, but... What the? You would never hit that. <laughs> oh yeah, and he lands. In this, what? He bailed and then landed back in his plane. That reminds me of Battlefield 3 right there. Sounds are pretty good. And there's going to be stormy weather. Goodbye graphics cards. Oh shit, tornadoes? Please tell me there's going to be tornadoes. I don't know, is that going to help the combat though? What the feck is that? Is that what the future holds? Okay, the, the, the soundtrack already is awesome. It reminds me of the Tenet OST. I would just re recommend to people today. Wingsuits. I like how they still have the color splash and stuff. Gameplay reveal on June 13th. Well, lucky for us, it's June 15th. So I can go ahead and uh, go ahead and check that out. Out of everything, the soundtrack really stood out. All right, here we go. Three minutes of gameplay. Let's see what it's like. So far, I was, you know, it was okay. It was okay. Uh, I liked the vertical tower, some of the levels that they teased, but again, it looked very kind of open. Um, so we'll see. All right, let's see if this is any good. All right, here we go. Free Alpha. Incoming wow, looks a lot like the trailer. There is. The Russian troops are falling back. Do whatever you can to secure the sector. Okay, all the standard battlefield stuff is there. Looks very battlefield. You got your standard aerial combat. You've got rope physics. Oh no, there's a dust still in the. Oh shit. Oh shit, really? Does the dust storm actually... So you have these giant weather events? Back it, you do! Is it gonna affect visibility? I mean, all this stuff looks like Battle... Bad Company 2. On maps that I recognize. It's like Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3. Had a baby. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Little Bird. That's what that's called, Little Bird. Um, it's a weird menu system. Oh, it's the console. Yeah, that's so circumstantial. Okay, zip lines. Yeah. You just feel exposed as you're sitting out there. That's all. Why don't we have this? Wow, look at the scale of the level. What the hell? What is it? 64 player maps? Okay. The whole lighting thing looks pretty cool. Enter the next era. Experience all out war. Fighting on an ever changing battlefield. See it? 
I like the changing battlefield concept. That parachuting looks good. Yeah! Prepare for more, July 22nd. What happens July 22nd? <laughs> more what? More video? While well, the team scrambles to <laughs> produce another trailer. <laughs> Let's watch it a second time. Alright, you got your ice vehicles. You got your Land Rover. Attention all squads! The Russian troops are falling back. Do whatever you can to secure the sector. I can't play FPSs anymore. That aren't... We push them back, but not that aren't hard. VR stuff. I mean, I love run. Bad Company too. I absolutely loved it. Battlefield 3 was really good too. But after that, I fell into VR. And like... I just don't get the same buzz anymore from, from flat gaming. I mean, this looks pretty cool though. Like, those weather effects look really neat. But it's so dynamic, it would be incredibly heavy on the system. It would just be like, ridiculous. It looks cool. I like the color scheme that they're going, this kind of like teal and red. The trouble is you can see even in the video the way red behaves with compression algorithms, it gets screwed. It's so funny. Oh that's hilarious. I did that like fade in the video and I didn't even know these colors going in. I almost got the right colors, that's hilarious. It's very circumstantial. Go, go, little bird! I mean, this is, like, everyone loves the suicide run in Battlefield, right? I used to be an uh, engineer, as I said, I, that was my favorite class. I'd take the mines and I'd go jack a building up with, like, eight mines and then I'd chuck a grenade and level the whole place. I haven't seen much in the way of building destruction. Like you had in Bad Company too. Like, is that in there? Did I miss it? <laughs> I like, I like the giant, the giant tornado tunnel. I loved, like, if you love films like um, Twister. I think they've they've really just gone for like upgrading Levolution. And now it's, you know, the whole map is going to be changed. So you're going to have dynamic elements. But they're scripted. It's not procedural or anything. It's just, it happens. You know what's going to happen next. It's not... That's Battlefield 2042, huh? There you go. Well, I think... You know, I think that's good. Looks okay. I think, I think sadly, I think I, I probably won't end up I won't end up buying it um, because I've got a new addiction and that addiction is definitely VR stuff. I mean, the thing is, if you have, like, if you're able to play with something like this, this is insane. Like you get a, the actual full gun stock, you know, and then you've got that up against your shoulder and you feel, you feel the vibrations and stuff. It's like, that's, I, I don't know. I'm a VR player now, you know, between that and the sub pack to shake myself. <laughs> okay. Um, if that was the most exciting thing that, that popped up at E3, then that's a bit of a shame. <laughs> because I'm not, like, terribly excited. Um, glad it's coming. I'm glad they're still doing Battlefields. I like the color scheme, and the soundtrack is something that I'm going to want. But other than that, probably won't end up playing it. Uh, I'm curious about the details, though, just to look up what else is there. Uh, there you go. That's my reaction. Battlefield 2042. Cheers.